Hello and thank you for visiting. In today's video, we will be discussing Croxa and Kanoros, a new Mardu commander from March of the Machines. This creature possesses the ability to reanimate a creature from our graveyard when it attacks or enters the battlefield, provided that we have five other cards in our graveyard that we can exile. With this ability, we can circumvent traditional casting costs and quickly populate the board with a powerful army of creatures. To maximize this reanimation effect, our aim is to fill our deck with creatures that possess potent abilities. To achieve this, we can use effective loot spells like Faithless Looting, Cathartic Reunion, or Thrill of Possibility. These spells allow some card selection and discard the creatures we want to reanimate directly into our graveyard. We can also use wheel effects like Heartwarming Redemption, Dark Deal, and Magus of the Wheel to achieve a similar outcome, as well as dig deeper into our deck. We can further increase the size of our graveyard using repeatable mill effects from cards such as Perpetual Timepiece, Altar of Dementia, and Cemetery Tampering. Additionally, creatures like Angel of Suffering, Dragon Mage, and Stinkweed Imp offer additional effects that further our game plan. Once we have sufficient creatures in our graveyard, we can begin to reanimate them using our commander. We can achieve this by either attacking with Croxa and Kanoros or by flickering it with cards such as Cloudshift, Ephemerate, or Flicker of Fate. Some of the best creatures we can reanimate are those that bring along additional creatures, such as Karmic Guide, Sister Hospitaler, or Sun Titan. We can also bring back control creatures like Angel of Ruin, Ashen Rider, or Noxious Gearhulk to deal with problematic permanents. Meanwhile, Flayer of the Hatebound, Sir Conrad the Grim, and Dreadhound are creatures that we can use to cause our opponents to lose life. Of all the creatures in our deck, Doom Whisperer stands out as an excellent choice. This card allows us to mill through our deck by paying life while being a strong evasive creature itself. Finally, as we are using a graveyard strategy for this deck, we can add a powerful combo by including Necrotic Ooze, Asmodeus, and Scourge Familiar in our graveyard. When these two creatures are in our graveyard, Necroticus gains their activated abilities while leaving Asmodeus binding contract ability. This combo allows us to draw 7 cards by paying only 3 black mana, which is useful when paired with Scourge Familiar's ability to generate mana by discarding cards. This loop can instantly draw our library and fill our graveyard, bringing us closer to victory. Now, to enhance the deck's competitiveness, we can incorporate some non-budget cards to increase its consistency and strength. Adding a reanimation package within Tomb, Reanimate, and Dance of the Dead complements our main strategy while adding combo pieces like Kiki Jiki can catch opponents off guard. Eldrazi Displacer enables continuous blinking of our commander, and replacing weaker creatures with Shouldered and Razikath adds more pressure. Underworld Breach lets us bring back discarded cards, while Basalt Monolith with Mesmeric Orb mills cards and disrupts opponents' libraries. Now moving into competitive territory. Wheel of Fortune will allow us to fill our graveyard, draw new cards, and disrupt our opponents' hands. Yogmoth will allow us for repeated use of value pieces in our graveyard, and finally, Lion's Eye Diamond provides us some free discard outlet, all while giving us extra mana. Overall, Croxa and Kanoros make for an exciting and powerful Mardu Commander option, with their reanimation ability allowing players to cheat powerful creatures into play. By incorporating the right cards and strategies, players can take full advantage of their potential and dominate the battlefield. To see my complete list of this deck, please click the link on the description below. And if you like this episode, please like share and subscribe, we'd really appreciate it. So until next time, thank you for visiting, and catch us for more Quick Deck Text.